I, I think it's really interesting the reflection that you were uh, doing regarding the participation and also I was wondering if providing a, an artist providing a service can really act for the public, for the public uh, sphere, for the public space can uh, actually activate participation. I'm not sure. I'm not this sure reminds me about so. the idea of I think sometimes could be, but it has to be in a really natural way. Yeah. And it has to... It Does it really scare? I mean, it's symbolic, but... Personally, I don't believe in this project, in that square. Yeah. What I saw that there was a lack of uh, chairs, for example, at places where the people can hang out and be comfortable. Uh, yeah. and, uh, but it rains a lot in Vitoria. It's not really possible to use the square with bunches and because it rains all the time. It's really, now it's snowing in Vitoria. I think it's also a structural uh, difficulty of, uh, of the square, the usage of, of the square, mm -hmm. apart of uh, you did a big research, so for sure yeah. that you, you could extract some, some, some points. No? No, but I, it's not so difficult to use. Actually, now the, the square is, is being used, but it's, it's been used in the most logic way. Because, uh, to be clear also, this square is not a real public space because it belongs to the museum. I mean, it, it's, it's private, it's, it's from the museum, so it's not so public. It's about perception. I think perception can change. But the perception has to be changed by the museum. And now what is doing, they, they, they have put like a, a green uh, a space there and there are some chairs, but everything is uh, organized and coordinated by the museum. And they, they have so many works now there. But it's not never going to be used for someone that is not out uh, of the museum because it's, it's really, it's not public, it's, 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 it's a space. I mean, they have this fantasy of that is a public uh, space, but it's not. And, this, and for the other hand, the idea of, of putting there some, some uh, public toilet, I don't think it's, it was so bad because, I mean, uh, the, 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 as, as Viviana was saying, nowadays, we don't have uh, fountains, but we don't have neither public, uh, public toilets. That, for me, it's really a problem. I mean, you have to go to a bar, and in the bar they are going to see you badly if you want to, to use a public toilet. So, I mean, could be the, the recreation of the one hand toilet or could be another kind of toilet, but having a toilet in a public uh, square, I think it's a public use. And I think it's uh, something that we have forgot and now we, we think that we don't need that, but uh, how many times you are in this uh, situation that you want to go to a toilet that you have to go to a bar and finally you are uh, buying a bottle of water that you don't want, but only to use the bathroom. So, so I, I, I really like the idea of, of using, I mean, using this square as a public toilet. Obviously for the museum was not so cool as having, uh, I don't know, this <coughs> another kind of uses, but you can, uh, our proposal was don't have only one use, have a lot of uses for this square. And, and, and it's what is happening nowadays. They are using the square for many things. So it's working. But to be honest, I would love to have also there uh, a public toilet. Why not? I mean, even, I don't know, I would love. Yeah, one point. Yeah, one, but, but I agree with you that it must be only one use. And then you can, but, but if you have in a, in a corner this public toilet, then you have the other spaces to do so many things. And, uh, and, and also another problem is that everything that is happening there has to be really ephemeral. It's not possible to, to, to be really a, a, um, something that is going to be always, because as I told you, this square is always by snow. Now, now it's, it's white because it's snowing a lot in Vitoria. It's really, I mean, it's fa uh, people call the city Siberia Gasteiz because it's really, really cold. It's the coldest city in the Basque country. So obviously you have to be aware of that. But nowadays they are doing, and they have invited also many other artists to make some projects there. So <clears throat> I think the square is working now, but. Was 
and I was yeah. asking. Um, like I think that his idea if art can be the medium to answer to certain things or, or if artists can be the mediator to really realize something mm -hmm. for it, it really depends on the context. Yeah, no, but I was just wondering if this, uh, I mean, I, 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 I'm totally happy with the artist being the mediator and the activator. Yeah. I'm just uh, like reflecting on the participation. Yeah. And uh, I'm just wondering if uh, uh, an artist offering a service, yeah. which is, I'm, I'm totally fine with it, but I'm wondering if this can activate real participation or it can create uh, a, um, a sort of uh, can turn uh, like the, the, the audience into user, not participant, because actually we are offering a service. And uh, maybe for uh, for people it doesn't matter <coughs> if it is an artist uh, or the uh, or the municipality that is creating the comfortable benches. Yeah. So I'm I, I'm thinking about this idea of participation <coughs> of participation <coughs> in relation to what we were saying uh, with uh, Isaiah, yeah. the difference between public. Uh, Again, something that yeah. is provided, that is qualified, and common. That is something that is created through the uh, like perception of a common need and uh, a common response uh, of uh, towards this uh, this need. Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm thinking about participation as more uh, related to the idea of common rather than public. I understand. But your reason, the the example that I mentioned about England, I I believe that England is a very specific. In which the use of public and common is, is totally understanding from our way of looking at things, and also art is one of, unfortunately or fortunately, it's one of the best places to to approach the public because in England lots of people are really participating mm -hmm. to art project more than such a project. It's just impressive. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a country that developed the, the creative industries mm -hmm. in such a way that. It's just like not comparable with several other European countries. Mm -hmm. So yeah. in that case, yeah. public and common is also very difficult to define. To and there are several projects that the council is doing, and is doing it through art, exactly because they understand that art is a very specific part, mm -hmm. and people would join that and would feel more involved than if it is the council for social reasons. Yeah. Yeah. Also because it's, it's, a, it's a country in which communities are very difficult to define and the class system is very present. So art, it seems like a sort of a field in which everybody is equal. Why, if you touch the social, they, they can notice that the class is very present and they want to, they don't want to feel like under the pity of the richest feeding the poorest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? So, I, and this, I, don't, I don't know if this is comparable with other, other countries and also I don't know if this maybe um, will function in the same way in Italy in the future. No, I'm just, I, I'm just wondering uh, if art can really create, uh, maybe this is also a provocation, uh, can, can instigate participation. Participation, in my understanding, now is something that comes from people and that eventually art can, uh, uh, can mediate uh, and can filter, but it's something that uh, somehow spontaneously comes from the, the needs or the desires of people. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that that can create consumers. I'm sure that that can create uh, users. Mm -hmm. But I'm not, I'm not sure anymore that that can create participation. Maybe it can uh, uh, filter, it can uh, um, uh, catalyze <coughs> participation, but not really create. But there were two examples. That one, for example, is the, is the bench. No? Something that can define your way of leaving a space or doing or not doing something. And the other is the uh, El fronton. El fronton. Yeah, but you use the bench as. No, my como el juego. Uh, like the, the game, or uh, that's, that can create participation, involvement, and, and um, a feeling of uh, a common space. Mm -hmm. You're responsible for mm -hmm. something that you have to manage the relation with the other people. Mm -hmm. In this case, I, that's... Uh, yeah, I just see that the, the boundary between uh, participant and user is very, very uh, blurred. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, it, uh, again, it depends. I mean, everything it could be possible. I think, for one hand, obviously, um, I'm, I'm remembering now one uh, collective that was called what if, 
uh, that they were really interesting. They 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 made some projects in uh, what if uh, what if um, what I don't know what else uh, I can put to. to but th th this collective, they were really interesting, they, they, and they, they, they were able to make a real uh, participation, a participatory project. But because uh, in the in the situations that they were doing the project, there were these needs, and they were asking that. So as you say, I'm really uh, um, scared about the idea of the service, as you were saying, the artist as a service provider, because. I think that could end, like in some cases, like in England, this kind of, they, they see that it's so useful and so interesting that finally it's like this kind of instrumentalization. And I think, and I think art could provide also some, uh, some critique that some, somehow I think that we don't have to lose. But it depends. I think sometimes uh, the artists in a natural way, I think some projects from, I think Superflex is a good example of that because sometimes they have used and they have do some tools in a really useful way, but sometimes I think they have done another kind of tools that is for nothing or, or so, and or it depends. It depends of the project or even I don't know. Sometimes the the, the project of Francis Alice even is not really maybe changing the world. It's doing it in a really poetic way. But it's really interesting, and it's using really the tool of, of of art. So I think it depends. Sometimes, uh, sometimes there there could be some situations where, in a really natural way, um, the participation is coming, and there could be another situations when you see that 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 uh, pulling really uh, the artist to, to to do this participatory situation is going to be an instrumentalization. In my <coughs> case, this project with the uh, Art in Museum was really clear. If we are going to pull some artists to, let's do some, uh, I don't because they wanted also some someone famous, so, you know, I mean, we have to be really aware. And, uh, it really depends, uh, it actually depends to me mostly on uh, also the, the need of the designer. Or, or then uh, the, the need or the desire uh, from the, the how, how strong it is. Yeah. Desire and love is always <laughs> important, you know. No, it's a joke. It's a joke. Uh, yeah, of course, of course. But the desire and also it depends who is asking for what, because who is this desire? I mean, this desire where is coming from? That's the point. Also, if the desire is coming from the city hall, or if it is coming from the artist, if it's coming from the the, the neighborhoods, if it's coming from where is coming from, where is the need coming from? Because in this case, no one was asking. I mean, no one needs that square. No one in the city was asking the use of this square. That's the difference, as you were saying now, with the fronton. With the fronton, the fronton was so needed for the neighbors that they decided to occupy. So no one was offering the, the front on, but they decided to occupy. So if someone really wanted this square, come on, they, they will use it. People is not stupid. So the question is, as you were saying also, is that the square is, is made in a really wrong way. It's a problem of structure. It's a problem of, 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 of um, uh, wrong uh, architecture building. So obviously then, you are asking citizens to use, I mean, come on, you have to do something to, to, to invite people. So in that way, I don't think it's art or, or a project of art is more management from the museum. That is another thing. No, I think so, that they are two different things. But what art could provide, I think, is this, this idea of this research, what means public space, and I think Sometimes this sim symbolic uh, also situation. I don't. I don't say that always has to be symbolic. It depends. I think it depends that we we can't say that that can be that has to be always in in one direction. But I think in this situation it was really tricky to to pull an artist to make something that will work in a participatory way. Because uh, I know in Spain you are really conscious about uh, the situation and uh, uh, 
public funds. Uh, I mean, the, the usage of the space uh, is connected also with uh, what the, the institution does for the community, and uh, there are a lot of uh, talk about. Uh, I mean, I was living in Sevilla, so uh -huh. there was really strong uh -huh. and uh, um, <coughs> the feeling and. Uh, I mean, there was a lot of um, uh, open um, dialogues about institution and things. So yeah. there was the yeah. case too. Yeah, Sevilla is really special for that. Yeah, it's really spread. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's, um, everybody knows uh, and is conscious what uh, the, the space they are using and why they are using and what, uh, what the connection with uh, uh, the social sphere. So. Was uh, was it the case also with this museum? There were some conflicts. Uh, no, so no, it was just the fact of the the the, the bigger uh, the biggest conflict was uh, that uh, that they were not uh, providing what uh, they were expecting. Uh, they were comparing with Wuhan uh, and it was not the same. But it was not really... Ah, uh, I wanted to say before that, for instance, uh, there were two art centers in, in Vitoria. One was Montermoso, that it becomes really famous when, when Arakis was there uh, because it was really focusing in feminism and art. And in an international way, it, it becomes really famous and I think you agree with me that it was it was a reference for some years, Montermoso, but it was not for the city. So it was for the art community, but not for the city. With Artune, I think it's just the opposite somehow. Maybe it's not so important for the art community, but for the city, I think it was working better. Because, I mean, there, 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 are, there are many things that they are doing. Uh, the, the director is one guy that is from the city. Uh, you know, this kind of, I mean, situation where, where I think they were, no, there was not controversial at all with the, no, not, not with, as the, with the Guggenheim, that at the beginning there were many people that it was against, but not, it was not the case. This, this is one architect, uh, they, I think they are architects rather than artists, but, but I, I met them once and I was really interested in, in some of the projects that they were doing because they, they really have this kind of particip participatory situations. But uh, um, for instance, they were, they were putting these bunches in, in a, uh, I don't know, I think it was in London, actually. No, in Liverpool, in Liverpool. They were putting these, these bunches in, in, in Liverpool, in this area, and, 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 and only doing that, this everything happened. I mean, only putting some bunches. Finally, those bunches, they were like, they become like a situation of market, they become a, 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 a political debate. They, so it was incredible. It was, it was really working a lot. But, but, but they, 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 were, like, they were before doing that. They were living there, they were with the neighbor, they, 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 with the neighbors, they were asking them what they need, and they realized they didn't have a real exchange, as you were saying also in the, in the, in the square, they realized about that. But in that case, in, in Vitoria it was not really working because no one wanted to be there, sitting there, because it's really cold. But in this, in this case, it was working. It seems that they, they, they really wanted to, to have a, something as simple like that, like having a, a space to be sitting. And also they, they have another project that I love, that it was really, really a strange project that uh, I don't even have. <coughs> I mean, I, I met them years ago. Ah, this, oh, no, my, why? Why is not working? Uh, mm. But they, 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 But, yeah. To the, yeah, to that. I push? Yes. And the, you take away index, you will just leave dot at here. In the, in the artist, maybe just to try. No, you just you, you, uh, skip index, slash, and index. So, this?
Thank you. Yeah, I don't know what is not working because it's just the, the project that I wanted to show you. Uh, but the, the, it, it was really stupid, but it was working. And the, I, I think in this case, what, what was in, let's see if I put the, the title. <coughs> Uh, I think it, in that case was London. In a neighborhood, they <laughs> they put cows <coughs> in a neighbor cow, cows uh, uh, vacas. Ah, vacas. Cows, yeah. The that's what they they do only. I mean, they 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 they, they put some cows in in a in a neighbor of, of London. Uh, obviously, the the the. The people from the city hall, they were totally, uh, they, they were not supporting the project at all because they were like, no, I mean, the, the, this neighbor is, is really problematic. Uh, they are going to kill the cows and, and, and everything is going to happen. <laughs> but, but what happened with the project is that, and, that's the, and you can see in the, in the, in the images um, that, uh, uh, the, the children and the people, they were so excited with the cows and they were taking care of the cows and they were going with the cows and, 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 and they were, provide, and they were uh, learning how to take the milk and, and, and then they, and go into the different spaces. So finally, they, they were, it was working in the way that they wanted, that it was to have the community together and different people from the community to to be together working in one goal, that it was this stupid thing of the cows. So sometimes, sometimes it works, sometimes it works. And I think in that case, it's not an instrumentalization, instrumentalization of no one, but I think they were really serious. They spent a lot of time also in the place, living with the people, and this is Liverpool again, never London. But um, so, I love this project. This one is, is really stupid action. It's really <coughs> five cows, <coughs> nine days, and I, I uh, then they they told us that uh, that they were asking more days and they wanted the the cows go back and so I don't know. You never know, but sometimes there are this kind of of of. Uh, yeah, some sy symbolic or, or even one action like that 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 works, or or I don't know. Also, the project of um, this uh, uh, Dutch artist um, Jenny Van he Van Heswick. I mean, she has some projects that uh, that maybe they are not so successful, but some of them they are, and and. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't work. Uh, it's just that uh, this, uh, it's tricky, the it's idea of uh, user and participant. Totally. And sometimes uh, totally. uh, users are uh, totally. uh, considered totally. participants, uh, but because maybe they use the devices that the artists provide, but mm -hmm. all the services, but actually they are not taking part. Totally, totally. No, I'm, I'm so uh, agree with you that we decided not to make a participatory project in Artium. Even the museum is what it was asking to us. <laughs> but we decided to do it in another way around, to say, OK, we are going to provide you what you really need, but we are not going to instrumentalize no one, to, not the citizens, not, uh, not the artists, but neither the citizens, like, hey, people, come here and do a party. I mean, if you don't... Also, I think sometimes it's like thinking that the, the, the citizens are stupid and, and, they are, and, we, and we are citizens, even we are, that's again what we were saying yesterday. There is not a difference between reality and, and the art world. But in reality, like, just to support what Anna is saying, um, I cannot pronounce her name, Jan, uh, Jan, 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 Jan uh, She's using an, an extra definition of public art, which is civic art, yeah. because in her idea it's not just about the participation, but also this idea of the user. The fact that you are providing a service that the civic council or whatever is not providing, so it's civic art. Yeah. So I think that yeah. that is important, and maybe one of the most historical examples about this position of the user is the APG group mm -hmm. uh, in England, the artist placement group, in which they most of the time were related with 
council, council mm -hmm. territorial council, regional councils or uh, city councils, and they were going, or, or even factories or big um, enterprises, and going there and saying, we would like to provide a service. So basically, they were studying something, they were cooperating parallel to these institutions or things, and then just creating the service. So it was not, there were also participatory, participatory practices, but mainly it was for users rather, rather than for yeah. participants. Yeah. Also, uh, yeah. the movie now is, yeah. uh, is uh, reflecting a lot on, uh, on it. I mean, it can be very controversial for many aspects, but I think that this idea of the uh, audience that it turns into the user mm -hmm. is very, very yeah. interesting. Yeah. And very realistic, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think it depends. Again, in this case, in the case of the European Network for Public Art Producers, um, the, 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 the question was that uh, uh, Moses Stalinger, this organization from Estocon, uh, um, they invite us, they were the people that they decided to, to begin with this network, they, they decided um, <laughs> what for the point of view and in that time were the, the, the organizations that we were working in public art uh, in more interesting way obviously it was their opinion and it was in that time because things has changed uh, score is not working in the same way as it was before and, I mean there have been many changes in the organizations but in that time she was inviting us all these uh, members that you see there uh, that's what what we call the the, the, the founders of uh, of the EMPAP back concerning the studying our situations score and vector, and uh, and we begin uh, working together and uh, and we ask uh, for a um, for a, a funding to the European funding so the the. And also to say that the, the network the idea is too big uh, to, to open a little bit the, the network and not only the, the six of us. So when we make the, the, the symposium, we invited also many people, uh, a project, public, or, or Laura Palmer Foundation, Liverpool Biennial, Casco, Rotor, I mean, uh, Nosadela. Uh, they, 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 we invited many different people to to explain what we were doing and what they were our interest. Um, we, we asked for, uh, for the European uh, money. We, we got the grant. We got the grant and, uh, and uh, that means uh, that uh, we were supposed to be working together for three years. So we were doing, uh, we were being a, a, a case study, the, 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 CIOX, the six organizations we be, becomes a case study and we decided to be traveling to know each other and again in this case it was not a public event for instance in the, in the way that Carolina Rito was saying the, other, uh, uh, the last summer. I mean uh, it was not necessary to have light in our meetings in that moment. It was really important to be in a situation that we were us working together but knowing the context. So when we were, we were going to Bristol and we were meeting artists and people from the city, they were coming to, uh, we were going to Romania, to Amsterdam, they were coming to Bilbao. In the case of Bilbao, of Bilbao we made it a little bit uh, more public or different because they, then it, they came in November 2011 and in March 2012 it was supposed to be an event, to be the symposium in Bilbao. So obviously for us as host organization it was really important to have a connection to be, uh, between the art people in, in our context and the, the people that they were visiting. So we make the, the, the case study of concerning thing was a little bit special because of that. For us, it was really, really important to introduce to our colleagues, to our context, and, and we make like a, 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 a visit in a boat for the river, but in this boat, it was not only the people from the 
the organizations involved in the EMPA, but we invited like a 20, 30 people from the context, also from the art concert, to be all together. Also, we made like a public presentation. So the idea was a little bit also to to introduce to the context to the people that then will be arrive in March and make something together. For, for us, it was really important because this idea of yeah uh, arriving like uh, paracaidas. I mean, like true. I mean, that's not only something that could happen with the artists. It will happen also with the organization, curators, producers, whatever. So I think even we are from the city. Even we are really people that we, we can have the connection, I think you have to be really aware of these kind of things. So, um, uh, the, the, the last, uh, the last um, uh, event was the symposium that you can, you can check all the, 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 the program in this web, website that finally is working as a, an archive. So you have, we, we decided to, to do three days. The first day, there were interventions by Marta Rosler, Phil Collins, um, in the, in the uh, newspapers, then they were uh, a project by Chiar Barrio in uh, Arriaga Square and in the theater. And also there was a project by Alex Reynolds in a, uh, in, in a shop window for, of a closed video store. And in a museum of their production museum, it was the screening of this film that we produced with Maria Ruido. This first day, I mean, for us, being the host of the of of the of the event, uh, obviously for us was important. The international public it was important to thinking how we are going to provide what what how is going to be really uh, important how. Uh, uh, art critics, international critics are going to come and we are going to appear in freeze and that was important but was really important also how to be aware of people from our city because we were asking money, Gonzani was asking money to the city hall because obviously if we were the host the, 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 the European money was providing the money to this to be done but it was not providing the money to concern it to be paid to organize this. You were, you know, preferably, preferably what I'm talking about. So obviously that was a problem because it was like, how we are going to be the host of something if we don't know if we are going to survive? So we we decided, but it was some somehow it was uh, the 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 what is behind this network is also the terms of advocacy, the idea of support each other, the idea of trying to, to use this to, to, to have a, a way of survive. So obviously doing this kind of international symposium was a way to support Consoni. Also I have to say that it was a way to support Consoni in this certain moment because again we are in the same precarity that we are always. <laughs> So that's not something that, wow, it has changed a lot concerning forever and now we are super rich. No, I mean, it was something that it was, but, but if we want to, uh, but if it was supporting concerning, obviously for us it was really important that this has to have an answer in the city. We have to, you know, to, to respond to the city with something. And so this, the first day was the day that uh, somehow we were, uh, Consoni was the, the we were curating this part uh, more than than our colleagues, uh, but obviously we were in touch all the time with Estina from Estina from back in that time, Estina Hebert and and with uh, Niels from Score. So we were like the three curators somehow that we were working, but obviously for us was important to have. So we decided to also in the way that, that uh, Isaiah yesterday was talking, we invited Andrea because Andrea is a friend, it's, it's a, a tricky situation. I can talk to Andrea, I can trust her. So in, in this situation for us was the same. We are gonna invite people that is, they are really close for, to me, to Consoni and to me personally, like Chiar Barrio or Alex Reynolds, but at the same time, and Maria Ruido, but at the same time we decided to invite also some big names that could obviously provide this kind of, 
but th they are going to make the interventions in another way that because they we can't invite them to do something so and also for me it was really important to understand public space in a really wider situation <laughs> not only understand the street but so so we, for us, it was important this day also to have like a, a walk around the city in different spaces. So you have the theater of, of the main theater of the city, but then you have a close uh, video store abandoned in, in, the, in a working neighborhood <laughs> where never, never something happened related to contemporary art. That is the neighborhood where I live. <laughs> that I like a lot, but it's a really neighborhood that there is no the cool part of the area. It's a really working class part that I really like, but it's not really... So we wanted, you know, to... Okay, you, we have the, the center with the theater, we have this uh, neighborhood um, uh, represented with the project of Alex Reynolds, we have then the, the, the Bronx of the city that is below La Vieja, where we have the office, that is where we're going to show the film of... A Maria Ruido, but we want also the the media. This idea that, uh, as uh, Boris Groys was saying, that how finally the artist has become the artwork itself in the in the sense that we need the media. In in that case, we decided not only to use the media to talk about our project, but to use the media as an intervention space, as a space that we understand that is going to be public art happening in that moment. So it's not going to be uh, the, the, the use of the media and this idea of uh, uh, press release, but also an intervention. So uh, what we made with uh, Maria Rio, this is a film that we made about Bilbao, that it was really controversial, as I told you yesterday. Yes, of course, and this is for you. Actually, I mean, uh, I have came with more, so then I'm going to ask you when, where do you think that I can put it? Well, then I'm going to ask you, but, but maybe, I don't know, in a, I don't know where, but maybe in an information point or tourist or whatever. But I would like to let this in the city. Um, so, uh, this film that it was made with, uh, with the archive of the public Basque television, it was uh, it was talking about uh, the, the city and the transformation of the city. Um, we decided because it, uh, it was censured in, in the in the in the film festival, as I told you, of the city. We decided that to use this second chance to to try to t to make it public and to make it public maybe in a more radical way, but in a really natural way for the film. And it was trying to broadcast in the in the Basque uh, television, and and with success. Wow. Yeah, with success. It was incredible with success. So we decided to. Uh, this is uh, because fo football is so important in Bilbao that sometimes when the football match, re really, really important football match is happening, they put these kind of big screens in squares and sometimes in bars. So we decided to do the same. We, we put a, a big screen um, in, a, in, the, in, a, in a, a museum. Well, it was this museum because it was a, a big space. Um, we put there a, a big, huge screen, and we invited people to come. So in the same time that the, the, the film was broadcasting in the television, this, this, uh, this was, uh, we were showing that in this screen in this place. So we were people together looking to the f watching the film, but at the same time people were able to do that in their hotels or in their houses. Or so this day was really important for us to, to provide the idea of the intervention in the many different ways that we, we were able to do it. So finally, it was not people coming to us. We were also going to the houses of the people through the television, through the newspapers, because the Martha Rosler intervention was in the main newspaper uh, of the Basque country, that is El Correo, and the intervention of Phil Collins one was in the only Basque newspaper that we have in Basque, 
that it was closed many years ago because it was uh, accused to be related to ITA. That is not true at all. So we decided to have the, bo the, 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 the two main newspapers, the one that is really in relation with the power, that is really the, 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 the one that is more people reading it, and in the other hand you have the, 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 the one that is romantic in the sense that it's the only one that is in Basque, so obviously there is less people reading that, but it was important for us also like an action to, to, to have the both of like the two streams somehow and, and, and to support somehow also the, Berria, the, the, the newspaper in Basque, but at the same time obviously for them it was important if, they, if, if the interventions were, were also in the other one, you know, because it was so it was a nightmare, I mean, uh, uh, like, the, I don't know, two days before we were not sure that it was happening. So it was, I, I mean, it was totally stress, but it works finally. So it was a success, and, and, and I'm really proud of this day, because uh, also for the project of Ichi, of Ichi Barrio in the Riaga Square, we were inviting schools, we were inviting different people, so this day everything was for free, so, and it was really important many people to, to invite, not only contemporary art people, professionals, but also, I mean, there was people that, it was funny, it was people that they were the, their first time in their life that they were going to the theater inside because it was for free. It was the first time for them that it was possible. So that's something that we didn't thought that could happen, but it happened. And uh, the second day was different, was more like uh, these performative lectures because we use the, um, the, uh, the main uh, format or issue to, to this symposium that we use the concept of symposium, even it was not a symposium itself, but it was going to this etymolo etymological meaning of symposium, that means drinking together. So drinking together in this idea of having a public real sphere, when you are drinking, when you are discussing, when you are eating. So, so finally the symposium was these three days, with the, 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 the first day that I saw you, and the second day that this was these performative lectures, because we were using the idea of the storytelling, uh, all the projects, both the Martha Rosler, Phil Collins, Itziar Barrio, Alex Reynolds, Maria Ruido, or the, the performative lectures of the second day, they have in common this idea of the storytelling as a tool to, to, to uh, transmit uh, the idea of public sphere or to, or to talk about public art because we were thinking that some of the times they are so ephemeral situation that is really uh, difficult to, to transmit. So we were using this idea of the story like a tool to, to, to disseminate what happened in, in a certain moment. So in this day we have Asilo Mendizabel, Falke Pisano, Francesco Pedraglio, Olof Olson, Golden Ansenavi, Patricia Esquivia, Sasli Cavasoglu, doing these performative uh, lectures. And then uh, during the night it was um, a performance by a Heleton and a performance by Ojo. A Heleton, they were, are from Bilbao, and Heleton from the. Uh, do you know Heleton? Yeah. And Ojo from uh, Los Angeles. The case of Ojo was really interesting because. I met one of them in New York in ICP uh, and I invited him and I told him, we don't have budget to invite all of you. But, uh, and they are six, I think, or five. And they were like, yeah, but we, ha we want to go, all of us, yeah, but we don't have the budget, we invite you two or how do you see? And they decided to come, all of them, they make a crowdfunding campaign and they got the money to come, so they, they, they came from Los Angeles, the five of them. And it was, yeah, it was great. So we decided, so we, we have the day of, the first day that it was really not only for the pro art professionals and for the internationals, but it was also for the city. This second day that it was maybe more focused for the professionals, internationals and also Basque, that it was supposed to prior registration and to pay. And it was supposed, I mean, because, because also we, we invited many people because uh, we decided to invite to the people for the 
for the Basque Country, the professionals that we met to, to invite them to go for free. But, they, 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 but also there was this idea of, of being, uh, they, it was compulsory to have this prior re registration. They came like 200 people. I mean, it was incredible. It was incredible. And, and, and the day before, imagine, it was even more. Because, I mean, with, with the schools and everything, it was really success with public. And it was really also interesting, the different publics that we have, the different projects. So it's not only that we success in public. I think we success somehow in the different reactions and in different ways of involve people in the different projects. And for the second, the, 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 the second day during the night, I have uh, one idea that also if we are talking about this symposium, drinking together is import, important to end the day drunk, or at least in this idea of party. I mean, I think it's important also, finally, to have a moment of celebration. You know, not only it has to be everything so, Im oh, you know, it's important, but I think it's important to celebrate together because this is all, I mean, there is a, 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 a sentence in, a, a, in the Basque country that is like, party, yes, but fight also. So I think that, I mean, in the Basque country, we have this relation of party and fight and, and discussions. I mean, we are really bar people, so we are all the time like, having, yes, a, a wine and discussion of politics. I think that is super important. So we end with the performance of the Heleton, with the performance on Ojo. We have a concert and people end dancing. And uh, that I think is the best way to end. Uh, why, why is not? Uh, so uh, I don't know why it's not going up. Okay, now, and the third day was this uh, private um, discussion where we invited uh, all the organizations that I uh, tell you before. This international, they were like uh, 30 or... Uh, 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 it was a close meeting for invited professionals working in the field of art, the public realm. So, and this, this was in Victoria, in the, in the Art Museum, and it was more to talk about the future of the MPAP. So the, the symposium has this really different um, uh, situation or ways of understand uh, the public real, the public sphere, the, the way of working with artists. It was really different. I'm gonna show you um, a video where it's uh, like a, a summary of what happened. We could have had it all. We, we could have had it all. Rolling in the deep. Rolling in the deep. You had my heart. You had my heart. Dena eduki genesa kela. Norxin estara si digu. professionals of uh, folly artists. 
these guys that make songs for films and, and from radio. So, so this window, it becomes like a screen for a film and the film was the city itself. Francesco Pedra. And this was the, the screen, as I told you, that it was in this screen, but, uh, but at the same time, you see the, the, the television, you have seen the, the mark of the TV. So. And th this is the second day, the performative lectures. Y es así que el lenguaje y las ideas del artista deben medirse por los acontecimientos que originan y no por los que traducen. We have Charlotte or the creative subject. The other side we have Tom or the spectator. He's attentive and cautious. Uh, we were quite successful doing Esperanto art, at least more successfully successful than we've been before. The next time we meet, we'll speak as well. Maybe we artists are now bureaucrats. Maybe it's the bureaucrats who are now the real artists. <coughs> but the thought was that he's teaching me folklore on the, on the roofs of, of this like modernity. And, and somehow he was proud of himself and it was everything is It was uh, made by uh, people in Bilbao, they are uh, cooker, an artist also. So they were doing a uh, uh, yeah. special. Also, yeah, I think it was important all the time trying to, to see what is the public. So, and I think it was interesting also to end in this kind of part, more party situation, also to provide to the people from the city. We, we had to... <laughs> Yeah. 
that we have um, managed. Um, it, was, it was really uh, a pleasure to make, but also to, to organize, also a nightmare, really stressed. Um, I think this w uh, website works well. I invite you all to, to check the website, because you can, if you go to artists, you can see all the projects that we have made and there is a video for each artist and each project. So th this, the one that I show you is the general for all, all the, the event, but to summarize all the event, but you, you can choose and you can have pictures uh, of all the, 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 the projects or information or even all the performative lectures are also here. So I think, um, yeah, I invite you to, to check it with, with Khan. Um, the, 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 the approaches, they were really different. And the, the question of the public and publicness and common, I mean, it was really complicated because obviously some of the performative lectures that they were happening in a, in a close space, in a certain space, oh, why? Uh, they were, uh, they were, I mean, they were this idea of public sphere, but obviously they were not happening outside uh, a certain space. They were not in relation with the context neither. So it was a combination. Some of them, they were in relation with the context. Some of them not. Uh, Golden and Senevi or Olaf Olson, they were doing more the project that they have already done and they were making again somehow. Uh, Martha Rosle was doing this intervention that, that it, it was made at first with her son in Berlin. So it was not uh, neither the, 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 the first time, but for, but for instance, uh, Phil Collins was doing uh, a site specific for the newspaper and it was uh, really beautiful, this beautiful letter that he was uh, sending to someone. Uh, it was like a, a, a love story, uh, Viviana, you will like that. <laughs> and. Uh, so uh, it was uh, the, all the um, the projects they were really really different and uh, or the Sierra Mendizabal approach or uh, one of the most polemic uh, approaches was the the one of Ashley Cavazol. The Sierra Mendizabal approach was really focusing in what means also um, he was talking uh, about a story about Oteiza and a public sculpture in the Basque Country. Um, but Ashley Kawasolu was doing this. Uh, Ashley Kawasolu will be joined by the Hand of God Church and its Voice of Melody Gospel Core to reveal the hidden story and actual motivation of Lot's wife, a biblical woman who was transformed into a pillar of salt as punishment for looking back at the divine destruction of her home instead of stealthily fleeing from it through a rousing <coughs> and heterodox musical incantation. And I, uh, this, the, 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 there was people that they were like saying, why? Because those, I mean, there they, they was a Nigerian core that they were living in, in all, all the beginning of all the interventions, they were like this, with Stina, stand up with the, and the super beautiful uh, letter, right? It was news. No one doing that. And uh, and it was polemic because I mean, obviously, all the pol the public we were white. But I have to say that in Bilbao there are not my white. audience. There were not many black people living there, neither. So uh, for the Europeans, they were like, why they were they had been not black uh, artists of this kind? And it was like because there are not black artists at all in 
in the ground. I mean, the, the, it doesn't exist. But in this case, these Nigerian people, they were working together with, with Asli Kabasoglu. I don't think there was an instrumentalization or it was this kind of... of, of uh, uh, post-colonial situation for many reasons because Asli she's part of this church uh, she's even she's Turkish I don't know why but she's part of this Church. She, she believes in this, uh, and, and, and we and we were in touch with them and she and all the budget that she has to make the project uh, was a donation to the church, to the Nigerian church. and they made everything they, uh, I mean this is the the priest uh, we went to we discovered that this Nigerian church they, they, they have uh, that exists in Bilbao they live in Bilbao and it was really, I mean, we were there, we were to the church, we were three, four hours in there. Uh, yeah, there really long, 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 Yes. So we, we were to we we were them. I mean I mean before inviting them we were there. We were part of the mess. They and they were really, really happy that we were going there because somehow we were telling them what uh, I mean we, we we were we were communicating to the city that this exists in Bilbao. So it was a possibility of doing this in the church no. and they didn't want. I mean, because there were many people that were saying, but why do you put these people uh, in the same space that we were? Because finally this, like this black people, like, and we were all the, the white community looking at them. But it was just in the opposite way. I mean, they asked to be in the same space that the others. They didn't want to be in a special situation. For them, it was even worse. If we were going to the church, they preferred to go to the space that the others were doing the performative lecture. They wanted to be in the same situation. So you never know. I mean, I think, um, I, I don't know. My mother, for instance, she was really happy and she was saying, I think to, 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 to have this read of that they, is a, a new colonialism is really to be it's also to be a racist somehow because finally you know it's to think that uh, the, the, these poor people we have to, to take care of them and so and, and they take care of themselves they know where where and, and they wanted to be there they were happy to be there and they they were asking and also I mean, they, they, they provide all the curtains and everything. They made, so they, 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 all the, the, the budget was going for them. So finally, I mean, they, it was not so this kind of instrumentalization situation because I don't, I, I imagine it was the first time in their life that someone from Bilbao was making this huge donation to their church. So I'm showing this because it was one of the most polemic because the others, they were more, but uh, I like a lot the project, I have to say, and I like a lot uh, also in the, in the discussion that we were saying about participation, I like a lot because I was working with Asli and I know how she worked with this project and it was really taking care all the time of them. We went, as I told you, we were having meetings with the priest many times and they were so happy that you can imagine, I mean, it was like, for them, yeah, it was a really, uh, uh, the first time that they, that they were showing what they do and what is their beliefs. And when we were in the events, they were clapping us, I mean, they were the only white people. I mean, it was incredible, it was discovering in, in Bilbao a community that I certainly didn't know that it exists. And also, some of them. So that can be lived by God or well, how? No, I will tell you this. <laughs> but, um, so, I don't know, it was really beautiful so to, to work with them.
El sal que pueda desaparecer. In the tongues, in the, in the mouth of the animals. En las bocas de, lo, de los animales. The salt that can blow when the wind comes. El sal que puede irse cuando viene el viento. She was thrown into a pillar of salt. Se convirtió a una estatua de sal. Because she looked back, she looked behind. Porque había mirado para atrás. But what did she want to see behind? ¿Qué quería ver ella para a, atrás? What did she look behind? And the mess, in, even is in below in English. Sí. Always. So in this case it was the, the language, because the language was another issue, we, we make a, a simultaneous translation, but my partners, my partners from IMPAP at the beginning they didn't understand the need of doing the, 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 the simultaneous translation. And I was, I was saying, because obviously it's really expensive, but I was saying no way that we are going to do this shit big event without a translation because people in Bilbao doesn't speak English, even the, the art professionals. So I don't want to spend so many uh, money also that, I mean, we are investing money from the, the local institutions. So obviously we have to do it in the language that we use. And uh, at the beginning we were trying to do it in Basque and in Spanish, but finally it was only in Spanish. But all the, the information is in, in Basque, Spanish and English. Because it was super important. I mean, for us, it's no way that you are not going to do it in the three languages, you know? That must be in, in Basque and, uh, and, uh, and in, the, in Basque, Spanish and English. And also, the <laughs> you can see the, 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 the Basque people. That they they are not going never to clap. <laughs> but, I mean, people was really shocked with this. It was like, what what the hell is going on, you know? <laughs> ah, take, take, take this, please. Thank you very much. And uh, and, uh, and the last one that um, I think. Uh, also, it was interesting the the, the project of uh, Asher Mendizabal that he was doing the performative lecture in, in two languages, in English and in Spanish. And this was really interesting because for the foreigners, they were like, why is he doing that? I mean, it's, it's really uh, uh, annoying to be changing all the time because he was doing Spanish, English, Spanish, English. I was like, come on, this is what he wanted to do. I mean, this was part of the performative lecture, you know? Because he, we, we had a lot of um, conversations together between Asir and me about uh, the, uh, the many decisions that we take. For instance, we decided not to, not to translate the title because I think all what it was behind with the empath, it was in English. So let's maintain in English. Don't pretend that, you know, I mean, for me it was in, important to, to have all the information in Basque, English and in Spanish, but not pretend to be really someone part of the context because we were not even, I mean, I am, but the conversations in the moment that every, everything is in English, let's continue in English, you know? I mean, let's, let's, let's evidence the, the question that, that the English is finally the, the, spoke, the spoken language of contemporary art. And, and that means a lot. I mean, sometimes it means also uh, that some people is not a going to be a sex has that sex of, 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 of certain of the uh, text or, or, or someone who certain, determined to undertake no? the public so, so that's something we were talking and yesterday the about the precariousness or, or the situation where sculptor, we are forced to go to, to Sao Paulo, we are go Indeed, forced to go to somewhere to, to be involved in a situation that we are supposed, that is super important for us to be there. But then you say, yeah, if you have the money, how I, but the question of the language is another, another thing that is really important, I think. And rather for us, that in the Basque country we have two languages, Basque and Spanish. And for me, it's really important to take care of the Basque language. Even, I have to admit, we don't have our website in Basque. A concerning website. 
So, Asir was changing all the time to English, to Spanish. So, finally, he was providing like a choreography in the public, doing this all the time, you know? Because sometimes they were long, but sometimes they were like sentences of people who were like... And it was really funny because for the people in the Basque country, they didn't understand that like annoying, but for, um, for most of the internationals, it was super annoying. But most of the internationals, they were, Engl they were English, they were from the Netherlands, or they were from from the Scandinavian uh, countries, that obviously for them is not an issue, the question of the language, because they speak perfect Spa uh, English. Look, now it's, she's in Spanish. La estatua se ha hecho liviana. Su naturaleza formal, el régimen de tensiones en el espacio ha cambiado. Pero esto no quiere decir que so basta he, para crear... Because he was telling a story about a, 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 a Oteiza Basque sculpture that he was uh, taking part in a context, international context. So, so he wanted to, to, for him was important to exchange these two languages. And um, yeah, and invite you in cartoon, all to, to, to check the website where you can find, as I told you, all the videos of all the, 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 the artists, all the projects, and also many different uh, dossiers. One, the press release, and then we have a dossier uh, uh, that we made in May that it was a um, summarize of everything that happened with the pictures of, I mean, the. Marta Rosler, the Phil Collins, uh, explaining all the projects, the Chiar Barrio, the Alex Reynolds, uh, and, and yeah, the, the Phil and Maria Ruido, and explaining everything that happened, and also the 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 public that they came. Uh, for each uh, moment, and it was the caucus, and all the organizations that they were invited to the caucus, and uh, the founders that we are, and so I don't know, I think it will be also interesting. And also the media, the, all the, um, the press articles that we have, uh, I say I brought something, uh, in, uh, or Roland Jones and Fries, or in a specialized a magazine, but also in the in the local newspapers. So I don't know. And now the future, let's see what happens. But the idea is to continue with the European network for public art producers. The idea is that uh, we are going to maybe make uh, an annual event, um, an annual event. Uh, and uh, the, the different partners are going to be the host. So next year is going to be in Stockholm, and the, 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 the next, I mean, 2014 Stockholm, 2015 Bristol, 2016 Amsterdam and San Sebastian together in relation with uh, San Sebastian 2016. And also because for us it's the only way to survive. If we, if we are host of different situations, because otherwise, it's again, we don't have a, a, a funding for the structure, we have only for the project. <coughs> so, after that, I mean, this is, was important for us, but after that, we have to continue living again. And, uh, and again, it's not so easy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 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 I will let you. So, I don't know. Um, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, yes, for, for inviting me. I don't know if you have any questions, all of you. Also, Facebook, you can make a Yeah, if in Facebook someone has to make a question or by WhatsApp to me or whatever, I mean, you can... Yeah, uh, let's do it. I mean, questions from Facebook. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, yeah, I can check it if they are doing something in Facebook. <laughs> now is your moment, people. <coughs> so. 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is the second day. Ah, I'm pop. Nice. I'm going to see that. <laughs> <laughs> but here I'm super serious. Yesterday I was, no? <laughs> serious issues. So, yeah.